Hi everybody, it's Jason from Got to Cut in California. <laughs> I'm I almost said I'm calling you. No, I'm recording a video a day early for my weigh in. Um first of all, apologizing I don't do weigh in videos ever and I'm going to try to start doing that. I have a couple people asking me to do that, so I will. Uh, my weigh in days are Thursday and um I keep track of my weight every day, I guess it's just why I don't do weigh in videos because I don't really think about weekly goals. I do a daily goal almost. Um, I know that's unrealistic, but that's what I do. It's fun for me. Um, I wanted to talk to you today, though, because I um, had a really rough morning. So bad, in fact, that I didn't go to school today just because i um not feeling too hot. Uh, had a rough yesterday, and um, that translated into today where I just felt really depressed. Um, couple people weren't very happy that my video wasn't posted on time and they sent me some not super nice messages so I don't really understand that because um, I do the best I can and I still got it up and it's actually the best video I've ever made I'm very proud of it so I think it was worth the wait um, but um, everything just tends to add up for me and I'm I'm naturally a depressed person that's just I am a depressed person regardless of how you see me act I have a lot of issues with that but um it all carried over into today to the point where I just didn't want to leave the house and um, I'm going to go to work today but didn't want to go to school, didn't really want to talk to anybody but um, I almost ordered a Domino's pizza today um, there's this new one where it's like double layer sauce cheese happiness you know it looks really really good but I didn't order it um, <clears throat> instead I thought to myself why why would I want to sabotage myself like that and I think that's something that a lot of people tend to do when they're on these weight loss journeys is that they um, they tend to ruin their weeks like two or three days before the weigh-in somehow because they feel like oh I've done so well I can just it's okay if I do this or or I don't deserve to lose the weight because I'm just always gonna be fat or I'm never gonna look the way I want to look let me just have this pie or whatever you know <laughs> um, but still, you know, it's it's hard because we all have those feelings and regardless of how much I make light of it, it's really true. And even for someone that works every day with people that have these troubles and I tell them, hey, you know, these are some strategies for you to get through this. Ah, oh, it's so hard. It really is. And I made a good choice. I, um, I had the thing, I made the food in my house it was closest to pizza that way I kind of calmed down a little bit and the craving's gone and I'm happy with that um I say I'm a lot so depression issues are still there a little bit um <laughs> I did it again I'm gonna keep working out because I'm really proud of what I achieved in that challenge and I really really hope that everyone else keeps working out that was in that challenge too because we all saw the results be they weight loss or just a trimmer body if anything and it's really important that we keep doing that because if anything I really want to be a motivator for everybody out there because I get my kicks off of motivating other people and if I'm motivating other people then I'm motivated as well and I'm sorry to use you like that but let's just face it that's what we're doing kind of so yeah um I said um again. Uh, so today what I did, my technique today was to not guilt myself into not ordering the pizza because that wouldn't have worked, but I reevaluated. It's something I like to call a reevaluation technique as far as remembering when I was 278 pounds, how I felt, and remembering why I started doing this in the first place, which a lot of us tend to forget over time, which we shouldn't because at the end of the day, we're all human, we all want to live longer, we all want to have happiness in our lives. And ordering a pizza from Domino's Pizza is not going to bring happiness, it's just going to bring bloated death in my stomach for a day or two, and I don't want to deal with that. So, this might be the longest video I've ever talked to the camera without having any special effects, so I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you haven't fast forwarded yet. But, God, I hate sounding like a failure. I didn't fail though. So I feel good about that, and I'm already down in weight from the weight loss challenge weight that I had. Not by much, but it's an achievement for me because last Thursday I was 209-something, and I'm already 
considerably below that, so I'm very happy and excited to do my weigh-in tomorrow because if I can get below 208, I'd be so happy. So, so happy. But with me, it's not pounds, it's tenths of a pound. It's that hard for me. Before I could lose 10 pounds without even trying. I could eat three pizzas a week, do all the Jenny Craig food, and lose 10 pounds. Now, I am low, lower, lower, closer to my goal, and I can't do it anymore. I have to really, really try to eat all the food that I'm supposed to eat and do all the exercise I'm supposed to do, which it gets to the point where you don't have a choice and you have to do that or else you're not going to move on, which is, this is usually where most people give up. It's because they say, I've plateaued, I can't do it anymore. I'm not going to plateau. I'm going to make it. I'm going to do it. I will believe in myself. And thank you so much to those of you that see past this stupid little gay boy sexual facade that I put on and treat me like a real person. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys for seeing that I am a sensitive, normal, real person with issues and that I really do need your support. So, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Nothing else really to say. I can't bring myself to do a 10 minute video of talking to the camera because I really don't have that much to say. I can ramble on about my day, but honestly I just woke up and played video games. I downloaded Super Mario Bros. 3 on my Wii. <laughs> That's all I've done. Uh, I have work at like three and a half hours. I'll go to work and come home and then do nothing, I'm sure, so I'll probably work out tonight. Um, I hope that we can have another stick am chat soon, because I haven't done that in a while, and I like that. So, yep, that's it. I'm going to stop talking now, because I get antsy when I'm just sitting here talking. So, shout out to the two really good people that did amazing in the challenge, Carrie Lynn and Adam, neck and neck. I really liked seeing that from both of you, and I hope that both of you don't give up, because you're two of the most inspirational people on here for me, and I can't help but hope... I really want the best for both of you, and I want you to reach your goals. So please keep going, because it makes me want to keep going, too. And that's me, me, that's me using you again, but that's okay. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.